So in this video, I want to talk to you about setting your correct RPMs or your speed for your lathe. There will be another video later on on how to do it for the mill, and it's pretty much the same thing, but we're going to kind of kind of break it down for just the lathe right now, and then we'll break it down for the mill later on. So everything comes down to this equation. I don't know if you guys have seen this in multiple places. You'll see them on the back of business cards or all over the internet, and it's how to find the speed that you need to be running at. Nowhere, anywhere, I mean, I've been all over the internet, I've looked in machinist handbooks, things like that. Nowhere is gonna tell you how fast to run anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this equation to figure it out. And then we're just gonna break down the different parts of the equation, because this is the only confusing part of it, right? Um, first thing here, SFM. SFM stands for surface feet per minute. Surface feet per minute, it, what they're talking about is how much surface feet per minute can pass by that particular cutting tool. Um, typically, most cutting tool, like a, um, a carbide bit, can do about 250 um, in surface feet per minute, or um, if it's just a tool, still can do about 100. Um, and those are just kind of, I don't know, like the numbers that I found work. Um, definitely it changes if you're running on steel versus brass versus aluminum uh, or even hardened steel, okay? So these are just kind of kind of get you in the area and you can kind of talk to the manufacturer or maybe look up some other um, ways if you're working with some odd metals, things like that. Um, so, like I said, surface feet per minute. If um, go with uh, carbide 250, um, tool steel is 100. Otherwise, talk to the manufacturer and see what they can give you on that number if it's different. Next is uh, this 3.82. That's just a constant number. You can supplement this with a 4 if you'd like, but I find the numbers work out a little bit better if we actually use the 3.82. Okay? Always going to stay the same. You sometimes will see it written as just a 4. Next is your DIA or diameter. This will be the diameter of your part. So if you're working on a part that is 1 inch, you're going to put a 1 here. So let's rewrite this for if we were working with a, a carbide bit on a one inch diameter part. And it's all, all, all it's gonna be is, we're gonna do 250 surface feet multiplied by 3.82 divided by one inch, okay? So very quickly, what is 250 multiplied by 3.82? 955. So we could rewrite this, oops, let's make that look like a five. Let's do that too. And then we're gonna just, so it's 955 divided by one inch diameter, which is pretty easy in your head, you can figure this out being 955 RPMs. So your answer would be 955. Okay, let's do it again. Let's This time let's do some uh, tool steel really quick. And then maybe we'll do one more after that. So let's do um, a surface feet per minute for tool steel is 100. So we're going to do it 100 multiplied by 3.82 divided by, let's say, 1.5. So 5 doesn't really look right, but so 100 multiplied by 3.82, which would equal like, I think it's 382. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just go ahead and rewrite this as 3.82 divided by 1.5. No, 3H. Oh, sorry, no point. <laughs> Divided by 1.5, which should equal 254 RPMs. So that's our answer. Let's go ahead and let's bump it. You notice how that surface feet per minute changed that RPM dramatically, okay? Typically, um, carbide can handle a lot more. The heat, things like that, it won't ruin the bit. So let's do one more with carbide, because that's that's what we're going to be using most of the time around here. Um, let's do it, and let's do it with a two-inch piece of stock. So it's going to be 250 surface feet per minute multiplied by 3.82 um, divided by two inches, or two inches pretty much. So that one will equal 955. Should have known that. 477. Divided by 2 is 477.5. 477. 477 RPMs, okay? Now, the main thing I want you to take away from this particular equation is 
it's going to get you close. I don't think, if you go over to our lathe right now, there is no 477 RPMs on there. But there is a 490, and I believe there are some little bit lower ones, like a 410 maybe. So these are just trying to get you close. And it's okay to go up, it's okay to go down, it's okay just to kind of figure out what you like. Um, but typically, this is going to get you in that area. So. As you're going along through the class, we're not going to have RPMs written down for each tool. You're going to need to um, do the math on it. And if we come out here and we're seeing a lot of chattering, we're noticing a lot of smoke, a lot of uh, blue chips, things like that, we're going to ask you about this equation exactly and wonder wh where you came up with the numbers that you have. Okay? And that's pretty much everything you need to know right now about RPMs.